what's going on? Welcome back to Casual on Camera. I'm back with that got your tea. Uh -huh. Hey, today we have another Patreon request. Um, can I get the disco? That's a bachelor. Mm. Now, I'm pretty sure I only know one song off of this with, uh, which is Death of a Bachelor. So, and that's I, hot. I, I don't know none of them songs. <laughs> I might know Devil Bachelor if I hear it, but I don't know none of these songs by the title. So mm. I might have played it for you one time hmm. back in the day. Yeah, you probably not, did. Not back in the day, but you know what I mean. Later. Yeah, probably like a couple months ago. Yeah, something <laughs> you know like what I mean? That. So yeah, I mean, um, shout out to you, Sarah, for submitting this. Oh, Sarah, what? what's up, man? Okay, it's all right. Hey, <laughs> well, like the waste no time over here. Straight to the action. Track one. Victorious. I ain't talking about the Nick show. Not what I expected. <laughs> started off heavy. That was, that was boom. <laughs> Damn, they sound really like theatric, like some kind of play or something. <laughs> His vocal range is just wow. Stupid. You know that little da 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 da. That sound like uh, you know that the uh, SpongeBob episode when it's the uh, jellyfish was dancing in his house <laughs> while lights. That was fine too. Next track is Don't Threaten Me With A Good Time. I've seen this title before. I don't I, think I heard it. I think I've, I've seen that title before. Don't find out. Huh. Come on. No time to waste. I just woke up in my underwear. No liquor left on the shelf. I should probably introduce myself. You should have seen what I wore. Oh. 
coming at you with like a lot of energy. Yeah. They, like, they, they kind of remind me of like a even more energetic Fallout Boy for some reason. I don't know why. I can see that. Like, damn. Sometimes, yeah. But yeah, clearly this was about a good ass time, a big ass fucking party he was having. Goddamn champagne, gasoline. He was drinking, I guess. <laughs> it's not safe. He said designer drugs. Designer drug, gasoline, they sir. Got Louis X pills or something. Wait, what is this? What is this? <laughs> what uh, <laughs> that that party movie? What it is? Uh, uh, Project X. Oh yeah, Project X. What are you doing? Gasoline draws. What, what's going on? He said in the song, "How did I end up in my neighbor's pool upside down with a perfect view?" Yeah, yeah. He That's was at he was album at, cover. He was at that Project X party. <laughs> That's the yeah. album cover. Oh, oh, now, now I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a car in a pool. And he, wow. Patrick X. And he also said something about uh, a man. Something like he, he was rocking high heels. He looked good in high heels or whatever. I think that's his profile picture on Twitter. It's him and like, this kind of like. When was this album made? <laughs> 2016. Damn, he must be still having them parties. <laughs> but still have them Abby like that. Golly. Hey. Damn, sir. Do what you do. Oh, you man. partying. <laughs> Going crazy. That's a lean. Disco? <laughs> no. Next track. Sarah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh some telling me the Lord is not invited to Not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 A rap? <laughs> Definitely a follow up to that that other song. D don't threaten me with a good time. This is definitely a follow up. You know, he went through all that, you know, partying and all that crap and and drinking and going crazy. And now it sounds like this is the day after, and he he decided to go to church. <laughs> trying to repent. <laughs> for all that crazy shit he did with the gasoline draws. <laughs> like what? <laughs> hey man. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, man. Like sometimes you gotta shake back. Yeah, it's not like he's trying to shake his ass back. <laughs> Talk about some, all, like it sounds like he dealing with all his like drinking and all this other stuff through this song, and uh, how he was trying to be someone else and all this other stuff. So that's that's what it's kind of telling me right there with that song. But okay, you? um, yeah, y'all know me. <laughs> y'all know I do not be listening to what he be saying. I just knew it just. I, I mean, just, I just found me a new gospel song. I mean, it just came off that way. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even from the, the title alone, it just sounds like, oh, this is the day after, <laughs> you know? Hallelujah, going to church. <laughs> that was a good, uh, I would have never good, thought of good, it that way. Good follow up. Yeah. <laughs> Next track is Emperor's New Clothes. Hmm. So, so if he, is he like changing his ways in this one, you know? He, he taking off the, like the party clothes, you know, and getting into something, you know, something else, like a different part of his life, you know, a different track. Who knows? But let's go. We're gonna find out. Hey! And if you don't know, now you know. I'm taking back Oh, yeah. 
lavish mansions intertwined. I am so much more than royal. Snatch your chain and meet your eyes. If you, and if you don't know, now you know. Hey. I'm taking back the crown. <laughs> His range is ridiculous. Damn. Damn! It always sounds like he about to rap. I like how he sings because it almost sounds like he's rapping at the same time for mm. some reason. Like, I, like the like the way he's singing sounds like he's rapping, but he's not rapping. <laughs> not, I don't understand. And every time like the song starts off, like these last two songs sound like he's about to start rapping, but it turned into something else. The choir is killing the shit. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> the choir is killing it. You know, I don't know where he found this choir, but shout out to them for adding their vocals to this song, man. Wow. And I kind of, I feel like I heard that song maybe once, cause you heard the song? I don't, I don't know. Um, cause whenever the hook came, I envisioned like the video in my mind. All right. I think I'm matching the right video. Was he like? Was he like the devil in the video? Something <laughs> like that. Is that the right video? I know he had a video like the. I think yeah. it's for that song, cause that sounded kind of familiar, but I didn't know it enough to sing it or nothing. So. No, mm -hmm. this sounds like, you know, uh, how he went to church after after the other one. This one sounds like he like straightened himself up a little bit and like like putting like the party stuff to the side to talk about he coming back to take the throne or crown or something like that. Sounds like he's getting back in the studio and like getting his mind on track to like make music again so hey. that's what it kind of sounds like to me no but i could be wrong <laughs> again so they're gonna have to tell us in the comments hey. yeah and then the next song is titled death of a bachelor so maybe he's finally done with all of that shit the bachelor hey this is the you one think i know think, think, think he done think he done you think he done gotta be you think he did come on now you Get better be up. done <laughs> go, go back to hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. I, I see did. the shadows oh. in your face. People have told me I don't look the same.
What was what's what's the lead singer of this this uh band? What's his name? Brendan Urie. Bre Brendan. Why you do that? Why why'd you kill this shit like that? God damn. Wow. Yeah. Get that boy on Broadway. Get that boy on Broadway. And I just wanna be what? saved. Damn. Get that get that boy on fiddle on the roof. Something. <laughs> that shit, that was amazing, man. And again, his runs really remind me of Patrick Son from Fall Out Boy. They both got them damn runs. They're amazing. <laughs> I feel that. I feel shit. that. Shit. Damn, that boy can sing. Uh oh. Now, what was this one about? Uh, I guess maybe you was right. Maybe he was right, you know, because uh, it sounds like he the death of the up. bachelor, man. Yeah. He gave it all up, man. Everybody's like, oh, you look different. You, maybe you lost weight, man. You look, you're looking good. So, hey, he's on the right track. Will he stay on the right track, though? Come on, Brendan. Ooh. Will he stay on the right track? Will, will, will he stay on the right track? In his next track? Get it? Right, right track? Next track? Yeah. Crazy. Which equals. Mmm. What do you mean? Well, what do you mean, Brandon? Kanye? I don't let you finish, but go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Taylor. <laughs> you can set yourself on fire. It's like one of them swinging up. Uh -oh. She said, I'm not in my dreams. You dance on a tie, go pop weird. When you're just with the best cases, told a there's no residue of a torturer inside of your eyes She said you're just like Mike, love, but you wanna be Brian Wilson Brian Wilson She said you're just like Mike, love, but you'll never be Brian Wilson I thought the girl up like this <laughs> That was definitely swinger music. <laughs> like, boom. <laughs> like, tossing the girl in the air, flipping her, catching her in the damn air, mid-air like this, uh, <laughs> and tossing her back. <laughs> this is one of them songs, like, like in, in the movie where everybody knows how to dance, surprisingly, <laughs> when the band starts playing and everybody's just starting to know how to damn do choreography and shit. <laughs> right. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> and he was like, uh, set yourself on fire, you're never going to learn. So, did he go back to doing what he was doing? Damn, man. Come on, Brendan. <laughs> now, nah, I'm not sure, but yet. we don't know. We yeah, don't know, but... On. I got my eyes on you. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> no Drake. I got my eyes on you. <laughs> Let's get into track. The next track. L.A. Devo Devotee. Devotee? Devotee, right? I don't know what that means. Devotee, like he's devoted to the city. Maybe. Devoted to the city? Devotee? Maybe. Tell us in the comments. They don't, if that's the case, that don't sound too good, because you know how L.A. be. Yeah, L.A.'s, LA's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy from what I heard, but hey, live and die, I guess. Live and die in LA. Who knows? You got two black eyes who love them too hard, and a black car matches your black and black. Oh, who'd ever try to make you leave? No, black lives are coming home in time.
Tootsie. Good song. Good song. Um, now, from what I've heard, you know, it's just the lyrics, okay? He said, I'll never try to change you, okay? I know you'll never leave. So it sounds like a girl that is addicted and, and just loves the LA lifestyle. Like, she just loves it. Like, she'll never leave, and he's not going to try to change her and stuff. She's drinking white wine, and, and the Hollywood sign is invisible to her and stuff like that. So, I guess, you know, she's never going to... I guess she's never going to be a star, but, you know, she just likes the lifestyle of L.A. You know what I mean? Because it's just, like, a lot of celebrity and all this other stuff and parties and stuff like that with celebrities and all this other stuff. So, she, she, she's addicted to... And she loves the LA lifestyle. So she'll never leave. You know, she'll never change. That's what I got from it. Could it be that they're in a relationship? Yeah. And he's trying to do better. Yeah, he's trying to I guess he's trying to make her leave with him. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And like, you know, change up something, like change up the, the living arrangements or like just start a new life somewhere else and you know she'll never leave that you know she'll never leave la and that lifestyle you know because she's a la girl she's a la devotee she's devoted to la <laughs> you're gonna have to leave it behind bring you behind man you gotta change you gotta maybe, change maybe he did because the next song is titled golden days golden days maybe he's remembering the golden days you know with her you know what i mean he done, he done moved on to another to another place <laughs> let's go <laughs> golden days I found a pile of Polaroids in the crates of a record shop. They were sexy, sexy looking back. Oh, yeah, man, that was a good song, man. I, I liked it. What do you thought? Yeah, it was. It, I like it. It's real heavy. It sounded like it could be. Like, this vocals you know, was great. Big movie, like this is serious. Yeah, like at the end, like at like a, maybe a teen movie, like when they show like the the after, like how they got older and stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. like after they little journey through teenage years, and then they show how they got older and they got kids and stuff like that. So that, that could probably be at the end of that. The whole show. Yeah. Uh, Theme song. Right. Hey, 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 Netflix, <laughs> pay us. <laughs> Come on. The good, the bad, and the dirty. Mm. Yeah. You a dirty boy. Oh, wow. The good, the bad, and the dirty. The good, the bad, and the dirty.
me. These dudes are serious. That was a good song. <laughs> and you know, yeah, he has a song with Juice World. He does? Damn. And like an actual song, not the post depth shit that they oh, do. Oh, like, actual song. Like in the studio. I could see that. I could definitely see that. <laughs> I could see that like Juice World, you know, rock and, you know, I could definitely see him do that. It was more of a Juice World song. Oh. So he, you know, hey, he hopped on the little vocals in the background and stuff like that. So, on a Benny Blanco beat. This is definitely, again, Pat, this sounds like something Patrick Stone would make. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, like What's it, that song that had? It's not like like it was new, an arena. Yeah, What's like song, like uh, a newer Patrick Stump type of song to me though. The hook sounds like a song that would have been popped in like 2013 for some reason. I can see that. <laughs> I kept I, thinking, I see that. I kept thinking he was gonna say like, "If you're ready, come and get it now." Like, hey, if, I can see if, that too. Because he said "if," and I'm like, "If you're ready, like, cause that's what I wanna." I can see that too. But he did. When was this made? 2016. I mean. I mean, in that period of time, music was kind of like, kind of close in that kind of yeah. area right there. So, I mean, not much had changed from 2013 to 2016. It was just three years, I guess. So, I can definitely see that sounding like that. Man. Maybe, maybe. Good song, though. I like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Next song is House of Memories. More memories, man. Come on, man. You keep going down memory lane, man. Stay out that closet. Don't, don't keep going, going back, eh? Come on, man. Come on. You end up calling them. Damn. Let's, let's go. <laughs> and death is going to end up calling you. Hey. Come on. Come on, man. That's, that's too explicit. <laughs> that's real. <laughs> again sounded like something that could have been 2013 <laughs> for me but the whoa yeah, that almost sounded like that little boy band i forgot which boy band it was it wasn't uh one one direction it was the other band that came out the same time as one direction and it made oh, a little so summer you're probably right you might be right i don't they had know that song that uh so perfect standing everywhere American, I, don't, I don't think he was from america though I, I don't think it was from America. They they made the one they made a popular song. It was like a uh what it was. Oh, oh mm. it had the same kind of like oh, 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 oh some some it was a boy band. So mm. if y'all know what that is, please please just help me out, please. <laughs> just help me out. But yeah, that, that was that was a cool song. I I didn't like it as much as I liked the one before this one though. But it's still cool. But it was still. Dude. These like okay. I like I said before, so it just feels so big. Like the, yeah, the, the thing he was doing with his voice at the beginning, that little <laughs> you could tell he was practicing that shit with some. He draws some water. It was like me 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 all that other shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like damn, Wait. good song. Final track. Impossible year. Impossible. 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 As impossible as twenty twenty was. Yuck. 
Well, this was four years prior, so let's see what he's talking about. It's nice. 2016, everybody liked that year. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> impossible year only black days and sky gray and clouds full of fear this impossible year That was amazing. <laughs> wow. No good times. Great no sky. Good times. Impossible year. It gave me uh this is gospel vibes. That song uh If you love me, let me go. You know that was him too. I never heard that song. But this is gospel. If you love me, let me go. That's one of the biggest songs in the world. It's not ringing a bell. <laughs> oh hell no! It's not ringing a bell right now. But maybe, maybe I might, I might know what it is. It was all over it. Vine when Vine was out. All the memes. I might have to go back and listen to that because I don't remember how it went. You wouldn't know the whole song, you just know that part. Yeah, probably. If you love me, let probably, me go. Because Vine was six seconds, so I don't, I don't know. But that was a beautiful ass song. Gray skies, possible gear, t terrible happenings. Was he foreshadowing 2020? <laughs> was he foreshadowing 2020? My little conspiracy theory brain. Is he woke? Hmm? No, 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 no. X Files. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> great song, man. I love that damn song right there. I'm gonna be saying "Impossible Year" all day. Impossible That's gonna be stuck in my head because his voice was amazing. Like he sounded like a Broadway ass person. Once again, he just sounded like somebody on Broadway, and it sounds amazing. Damn. He make a damn Christmas song. Get him on rent. Get him with French Sinatra and then and, and uh what, what whatever his name is that uh uh Lady Gaga be with. <laughs> Oh, did you notice somebody commented on my video and said... It's not Frank Sinatra, it's, it's the... Not, Frank Sinatra's long dead, I believe, so... Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, it was, uh... Whatever the dude name I forgot. No disrespect, but yeah. I I don't remember what his name was, but yeah. Shout out to you, commenter. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> but yeah, the thanks. same thing in the video, but I was like, I'm gonna let it slide. I'm, whatever. I was like, I is it Frank meant. Sinatra? <laughs> but, I know what you mean, so I was like, let it slide. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean, but yeah. Definitely a great song. And uh, yeah, man, well, you need to cover that, uh, it's that time of the year. You need to get on that. New York, song. New York. All that shit. <laughs> You'd be in there. Amazing. Shit.
It's <laughs> Christmas time. It's the time of the year. <laughs> Reindeers and presents, hot chocolate. <laughs> And I saw Santa Claus coming down. You need to be able to do that. What's his name? The tree. James Blue or whatever his name is. <laughs> and then I saw an elf making my toys. And the children came from which they played, making noise. Oh, oh, so the allowed them to open their gifts early, because I knew that I Ooh. wouldn't be free. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I just copyrighted that song. You can't never see me. Sorry. Either. Sorry. Pay Gonna have to pay him. Ha <laughs> ha. Shows, Netflix. <laughs> pay him. <laughs> you know. I you think know, I'm just remembering a real song very wrongly. <laughs> just yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but we're not here for Santa Claus vocals. We're here for Panic at the Disco. And uh, yeah, that, that was, that was, was it. Uh, not Disco. We can go ahead and speed this process up. Best songs, all of them. Best songs? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be more decisive, you know. I'm gonna be more decisive. Disrespect them. Uh, hey, don't throw at me with a good time, brother. <laughs> 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 don't throw at me with a good time. Uh, I like Hallelujah. Uh, Emperor's New Clothes. Death of a Bachelor. Did I like Crazy Equals Genius? Yeah, I like that song. La Devotee. Uh, I didn't like Golden Age that much. Uh, I see that. The Good, the Bad, the Dirty. I like that one. I like that one that much. That's the uh, the good, the bad, the dirty. That Something was like cool. That. That, little note. that was a cool song, but I didn't like it as much as I like the other ones. Mm -hmm. House of Memories. I was. Did I like? I, I I said I didn't like this one more than the other ones. So yeah, I, I didn't really like that one that much. Impossible Year, amazing. I love that damn song. <laughs> Impossible Year, love it. Anyways, yeah, man, that's all my favorites. Uh, yeah. Like them. <laughs> Rating? Rating? Ah. Since it came out like some great ass energy, man. I like most of the songs. I'm gonna give this a nine. Nine out of ten. Nine? Yeah. I think I'm gonna give it a ten. It was really good. That was really piece. good. Spicy ten piece seven. with buffalo sauce. Ten piece? Nine out of ten? Great. Top tier. Wow. Sarah, you put this on. Yeah. It's a possible year, Sarah. Impossible year. Yeah. I'm going to have to make a song like Impossible. <laughs> Go ahead um, and pay him, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're going to come on. Pay me. Yeah. Hey. This has been Panic at the Disco. Death of a Bachelor. Yeah. Sarah, thank you for submitting this album. Thanks. Thanks, Sarahs. <laughs> if you want to be able to submit music to me, Go to the Patreon. I ain't gonna tell you no prices. Go see for yourself. You know, don't get me worked up. On my nerves. Don't get me worked up. I'm upset because I'm gonna go off. But I appreciate you, Sarah. Yeah, you already Thanks, know Sarah. what it is. So that's all we gotta say about the album. Make sure y'all go to JT's channel. That guy JT, know me. Ha ha. Yeah. Get him to two thousand subscribers. Hey, yay, me. <laughs> hey, hey. There's a person walking right there. We out. Yeah.